the bruise for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace is upon him, and by his stripes the beating took all night. I am healed. Mm -hmm. And you die of cancer. <laughs> and the Zen, I mean, whatever all that, what that was saying, right. don't mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. It ain't truth. Why would the Bible tell us in the book of Psalms that we serve a God who is the healer of all manners of sickness and diseases? Mm -hmm. And I die of high blood pressure. It don't make sense. And I am a worker, a servant for him. Yes, I am living for him. He has called me to help other people get well, and I'm sick. If you want to be healed in your body, the same way you have the faith in what the doctor prescribed, you have to have the faith in what Jesus prescribed. I'm not saying that you go against the doctor, but I'm saying you put more of your trust and your faith in what Jesus is saying than he is saying. When the doctor tells you you got something, you start saying, it's mine. It's my high blood pressure. It's my sickness. It's my disease. No, it's not yours. It's from hell. And the devil is using to attack you to stop you from what God wants you to do. So you got to give the devil back his stuff. I am healed. I am delivered. I am whole. I have work to do. I have fish to draw. I got to tell the world that Jesus is alive. Devil, Take this cancer back. Take this leukemia back. Take this blood pressure back. Take this diabetes back. I got to do something for God. Now, if I got to lose weight, if I got to go to the exercise machine, if I got to change my diet, I'm going to work it because I got to do something for the Lord. You can have it. I don't want it. Anything you don't want, put the scriptures on it and tell the devil you can have it Back. That's right. That's it. I don't want it. Take it back. Take it yeah, back. Good it God back. Almighty. It ain't mine. Yes. He told me I'm healed. You keep telling me I'm sick. I don't want that. Yeah, yeah. And now if you want it, hold on to it. Oh. Hold on to it and limp around. <laughs> I don't want to be limping around. I got something to do. Oh, I got to I got to run. I, when I was on the treadmill, I said, Lord, a lot of people are in here. They're working out because they're trying to save their life. I said, Lord, I'm working out because I'm trying to lose mine. Ooh, I got to get more in shape so I can get more of me. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? He said, you got to work the word when it comes to your health. Not saying when you first confess it that the pain is going to go away. That's right. But real faith is demonstrated when you're feeling the pain and you're saying, I'm healed in the name of Jesus. I'm healed in the name of Jesus. That's faith. That's faith. Lord, ooh, the Lord you said that you are a man of all you will heal all my sickness and oh, diseases. Good, yes. good God. Good God. That's yes. faith. Oh, yeah. Amen. That's faith. Mm -hmm. And God told me to tell you, or let me say, he said this a long time ago, if, if, if you believe in your heart mm -hmm. that he can, mm -hmm. if you believe in your heart that he will, yes. when you stand before the multitude, you'll confess that he did. Yes. 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 He said, so you got to work the word when it comes to your faith. To your health. He said, and also you got to work the word when it comes to your money. He said, a lot of people don't come to God because of their money. No wonder God said you can't serve God in money. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? A lot of people go after the dollar because it meets their physical needs more than they go after Jesus. But he said, you have to work the word when it comes to your finances. Understanding that God wants to bless you with finances for you, but not just for you. Yes. Right. 
He wants you to use the money as a tool to bless other people. Amen. So he will give you the yes, money yes, and it will overflow in your life. Right. So when yes. there's another yes. brother and sister in need of some cash, you will say no problem. Yes, uh -huh. What can I do for you? Right. Yes. But in order to have that heart of giving, you have to first give. That's right. So he says, give, right. and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall man, and it says shall God, shall man give back unto you. So as I'm giving to a man, God is making man give unto me. There you go. That's right. That's right. That's right. You're going to reap. What you sow. Come on now. You can't do nothing for God with a stingy heart. <laughs> you can't right. give God praise right. if you're stingy. Right. Because one day you ain't going to feel like giving God praise. All right. All right. One day you're going to wake up on Sunday and <laughs> the cat didn't cuss you out. <laughs> <laughs> the dog didn't bark at you crazy. <laughs> Yes. He said, I ain't going down there to say nothing to God. But when you are a giver, you'll say, yeah, I don't have right now. I really don't feel good right now. I'm almost on the borderline of depression, but Lord, I still say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because I'm going to give you with just do, Father God. You got to be a giver, though. If you want your finances to grow, you have to give. Come on. That's faith. Yes, sir. You have to give me a yes, giver. You yes. have to be a, a. He said, bring all the tithes into the storehouse and then prove me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put me to the test. Come on, mm -hmm. now. And see that I will not open the windows of heaven, that you will not have room enough to receive. In other words, yes. work my word uh -huh. mm -hmm. and watch what I do for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it may not happen the first Sunday you do it. It may not happen, but if you didn't put it in motion, come on. It may not happen the second Sunday. You may do it for a whole year and don't see no results. That's right. But haven't you, haven't you marveled that you're doing it for a whole year? Wow. <laughs> but if you keep doing it, you will go from not enough to just enough to more than enough. Because you work the word. And when people ask you, how did you get to where you are? They're going to say Jesus. Yes. They're going to say. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But you got to do it. Yes. You can't expect blessings in that area mm -hmm. if you don't do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's like going to a job that you have not put in work for it and saying, today is Friday, I want a paycheck. Mm -hmm. They don't even know you. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't make right. sense. say, security! <laughs> Brother Lando, get in the That's right. But when you work it, you can pray it back to him. Mm -hmm. Lord, you said. Right. <laughs> That's how I pray. Lord, you said. Lord, and you are a man of your word that you cannot lie. And you said this. I'm going to stand on it. Yes, Lord Jesus. And lastly, he told me, you got to work the word when it comes to your life. All right, all right. The book of Jeremiah 29, 11 says, for I know the thoughts. God told me to go back. He told me to tell you when he was giving me this message that doors are about to open. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know who that's for, but yes. when he was giving me this sermon, yes. he said, tell my, and he just told me to go back. You're forgetting. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you give me, he said, doors are going to open. Yes. I'm going to open doors for you. And every door that I open, you go through it. You don't have that on my side. Yeah. Yes. You don't have to question it. Yeah. Just go through it. Just go through the door. Just go through the door. I am about to open doors for you. Your eyes have not seen. Nor has it your ears heard. Nor has it entered into your heart the thing that I have prepared for you. I'm going to open doors for you. I'm going to open doors for you. And you just go in the doors. Walk in the doors. 
You may feel like you don't even deserve to be there. You may feel like everybody in that door knows more than you. Just go in the door and sit at home somewhere. Find a seat. You don't go to the chief seat. Sit in the back. As long as you're in the building, it's all right, brothers and sisters. He says, I'm going to open doors for you. Walk in them. Walk in them. Hallelujah. Work it. Work it. And he says, you got to twerk me with your life. The book of Jeremiah told me in 29.11, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not evil. To give you a future and a hope. He says, what I think toward you about your life is good. I don't care what your daddy said. I don't care about your childhood. I don't care about your parents. I don't care about your upbringing. When I think about your life, I think of good things for you. I'm going to give you a future. Forget the past and know that I have a future for you. I don't care how hard it has been in your past. He said, I need you to forget those things which are behind you and reach to the Lord to those things which are before you. He said, I have a future for you. The reason I brought you through all of that is because I'm trying to prepare you for where you going. I didn't bring you through all of that to bring you to the transition period and let you die. But I'm going to bring you into a future. You got a future. Why quit now when tomorrow is coming? Tomorrow is coming. Tomorrow is coming. I may be dead now in the grave. I may be on the cross right now. But thank God Sunday is coming, brother. Yeah. Sunday. Don't quit on Good Friday. Yes. Don't quit on Saturday. Because God has a future for us. Yes. So keep preaching. Yes. Even though. Keep tithing. Yes. Keep giving. Yes. Keep praying for people. Yes. Because you're going into a future. Yes. Ooh, yes. good God. Yes. And you think you have to stand now. Yes. Wait till I put you on that platform. Uh. <laughs> you think they don't like you now? Uh -huh. <laughs> I took you through all of that. So you're going to have some gut in you. Yes. When you get here, and you're going to really have to stand there. Yes. The children of Israel had to fight more in the promised land right. than they did in Egypt. That's right. 